The status information on the device isn't taking up space all of the time, but it's still readily available whenever you need it. This is our home screen. I already have one application launched. That's people application. Other applications on the device are, of course, available from the launcher. I'll open a couple of applications. I'll demonstrate the multitasking ability. So I push the application out of the way. It remains visible on the screen. And I can actually continue to interact with the application. So if I want to use the dialer in order to enter a phone number, I can go directly to the dialer, or I can go directly to the contacts. So in this case, I'll demonstrate the dialer. So now the dialer is available. I can enter a phone number. I'll push that out of the way. Now it remains visible and accessible and still usable. So another good example is the media player. So I open the media player. And while the media player is open, the content seems to be missing. So while the media player is open, I can actually still interact with the content. So let's see, where did our music go? Oh, there we go. So music player is open. I can still interact with the content. I can stop the music. I can start the music. I can fast forward to the next song. And again, start and stop the music without having to go directly into the application. So this is the basis of our UI. An additional feature I would like to point out is the ambience. So I can take any given photo, I can select the photo, pick the one that I want, and then I can create ambience. So now notice that the colors have changed to reflect the colors in the photo. And now the entire device has changed the way that it looks, and this is the ambient look and feel. Thank you.